Hello all. In this session, I'm going to discuss what do we mean by current telemetry system. As you know, in the previous session, we have covered the topic of voltage telemetry system. Let us have a brief discussion about current telemetry system. So I would like to inform you that current telemetry system will be almost 100% similar to voltage telemetry system. The major components of current telemetry systems are we have the transmitting terminal. Second one is telemetry channel. It is wired one only. Remember that. Third one is called the receiving terminal. These are the major components. When it comes to the transmitting terminal, we can see a DC supply, a battery. We can see the battery. Later, we can see a potentiometer here. There is a slide wire or a slider which is connected with the burden tube. As the pressure changes, position of the slider wire is also getting changed. When it comes to the telemetry channel, telemetry channel is made up of with a conductor. Especially, we use copper. Copper is more desirable compared to aluminium. When it comes to the receiving terminal, we have a calibrated meter in the form of ammeter only. The range of ammeter is milli, milliammeter. It's a milliammeter range. What it does, uh, it, measure, it measures the current in terms of milliammeter in terms of pressure. Okay. Like uh, pressure will be measured in terms of kilopascal or we can call it as kilo newton per meter square. For example, uh, 2 milliampere. 2 milliampere, if I get the reading of 2 milliampere, so we'll be, we can say there is a definite amount of pressure. Okay. Suppose if I get uh, 100 milliampere, that means pressure is very high. So there is a certain value. It is already calibrated. All right. So these are the major components of uh, the current telemetry system. Now let's see the construction and working in brief. In case of current telemetry system, first of all, uh, we can say uh, the pressure gauge. Pressure gauge activates based on the quantity, maybe pressure difference or maybe the movement. Definitely pressure changes takes place. The pressure gauge is directly connected with the, the slider. Uh, slider position is getting varied. Correct. Now, the current that will be transmitted through the channel then you will be getting the reading at the receiving inside in terms of milli, milliampere or milli, milliammeter in the form of milliammeter. Okay, it gives the reading. So it's already calibrated in terms of pressure kilonewton per meter square. So we use, we use copper wire only. Okay, so this is a simple working of a current telemetry system. There are advantages in case of current telemetry system. So whatever we use the milliammeter, that is quite simple and uh, inexpensive. Several receivers can be operated separately, unlike a voltage telemetry system. That is a, one of the advantage of current telemetry system compared to voltage telemetry system. Then the energy level is too high. So these are the major advantages of current telemetry system. When it comes to the drawback, system is not suitable for longer distance. For longer distance, maximum 300 meters you can use the current telemetry system, like voltage telemetry system. If you want to go above, you have to depend on other type of telemetry system. So only this much uh, I would like to uh, present in this session. Let me know if you are having any uh, queries. So in this session, I have briefly explained what is the current telemetry system. Also, you can see uh, the different varieties of current telemetry system, such as motion balance current telemetry system, and a force balance current telemetry system. These are the different types of telemetry system, current telemetry system. Let me know if you have any further details required. You can put up in the comment box. I'm very happy to reply back. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning.